How do you find settling in as a new student to Harrogate Grammar School coming from another school? I find it quite easy. All the teachers were really helpful. Everyone was really approachable and nice. Do you get the right support through your lessons and through your teachers to help you be more independent? Uh, yes, they've given us a study folder and when we go to study lessons we have lots of resources to revise and look back at work we may have missed. How do you find iPads for learning here at Sick Form? So I joined the school new and so I wasn't used to using an iPad at all so when I joined they taught me how to use it, they set everything up for me and it's just much better than using pen and paper for everything. How do you find the support here in Sick Form outside of your lessons? Uh, I find the support really helpful. Um, there's the LRC and all the learning support stuff. I uh, struggle with dyslexia and I found that really helpful for moving here from another school. Student support is so amazing, they're so approachable. The office is right next to our studies, so whenever you need any help, you can just pop straight in. You can talk to them about anything, school, UCAS, uni, apprenticeships. They've got so much knowledge, but you can also talk to them about personal things. So how do you find the extracurricular opportunities here at Sick Form? Yeah, they're really good. There's loads of opportunities like within music, drama, sports to pick something you like and have fun with it. It gives you a breather, like yeah. after school, like when you've done your homework, like when you studies and you just want to get off some fun. So I take part in the Netball Sports Academy, which is built into my timetable, which is great. And we have a coach who comes in to do that from Lisa Rinders Netball, so yeah, it's like a very, it's quite a high standard. Yeah. How do you find the facilities here at school? Um, they're great if you do any kind of sport or extracurricular because they've got indoor and outdoor facilities. They've also got separate spaces in sick form to main school, which I think, you know, it brings a lot of independence. Yeah. And they've got separate sort of study spaces for year 13 and year 12. Yeah. Which uh, really, really helps when you're trying to do work. So, what was the application process like when you were coming into sixth form? So, in about February of year 11, we applied for our subject choices that we wanted to do. And when you applied, you got given required grades you needed to do to do those courses. And then on results day, we found out if we got those grades or not. And if you didn't, you just had to set up a meeting with the teachers the next day to figure out what your next steps were going to be. How do you find the course options here at Sick Form? Could you take anything that you wanted to? Yeah, quite literally, there's a great variety of different things. So there's, for example, there's B Techs, there's A Levels, there's AS, there's even EPQ, which is really beneficial when it comes to applying for university. And then also with like, there's more practical ones as well. If yeah. you're more of a hands-on person. How do you find that school supports you through the university application process? So throughout year 12 you do university visits, well for me I found it really inspiring because you actually get to see first hand what the universities are like. Is sick form what you expected it to be? Yeah, um, I think there's a lot more independence than I was expecting and there's a lot more time one on one with your teacher that helps develop your knowledge on the subject. Yeah. Do you find that you got the right support when you were moving into sick form to gain that independence? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's uh, study sessions at lunch and after school and if you want your teachers will spend break or lunch with you to help you go through things if you don't understand. Great, thank you very much.